Oscar winner Helen Mirren stopped by this show on Tuesday to talk about her new movie, Woman in Gold. And Willie recently caught up with her co-star, Ryan Reynolds. Willie? Matt, good morning. Ryan and I talked about all the women in his life, including Dame Helen Mirren, also his wife, Blake Lively, and his newborn baby girl. We began, though, with his role in the film that tells a dramatic true story. All right, Ryan. So I got to tell you, I don't expect usually to walk out of a Ryan Reynolds movie in tears. <laughs> depends uh, on which one. It depends yeah. on the movie. <laughs> so there's a few out there. That'll <laughs> angry tears. Right. Um, yeah. This movie is uh, it's extraordinary. But this particular story I didn't really know. Was it something you were familiar with? I'd actually seen this particular painting in the Belvedere when I was ba uh, just a young boy with cheek of tan and lock of gold, backpacking Europe. The painting is The Woman in Gold by Gustav Klimt, considered the Mona Lisa of Austria. Originally commissioned by a wealthy Jewish family in the early 1900s, it was stolen by the Nazis and wound up in Vienna's Belvedere Gallery. That is until 1998, when the family's remaining daughter, an elderly woman living in Los Angeles, played by Helen Mirren, hires a young, scrappy lawyer to get it back. This is a case of one woman wanting back what is rightfully hers. Mrs. Altman came to America as a young woman in search of peace. Let's give her justice, too. Describe for people the Helen Mirren experience. What's it like working with her? Well, she's just, I mean, she's one of the true masters of, of this craft. I mean, she's one of those people that, you know, don't let the dame part fool you. She's, uh, <laughs> she has a, pr she's a pretty significant potty mouth as well. Really? Oh, yeah. Examples? She will throw down. Really? Nothing I can say on the air. Come on. Please, you Come can on. beep it out. What do you got? I, the word <laughs> may have come out of her mouth a couple of times. Uh, no one will see that. <laughs> do you allow yourself to stop a guy from Vancouver, four brothers, your dad's a cop, and say, my gosh, look at my life? All the time, yeah. Do you? Yeah. All the time, yeah. I mean, I remember that I was presented at the Oscars in, in a few years ago, and that was a moment where you kind of look <laughs> out at that audience and you go, wow. <laughs> and the teleprompter's not working. Why isn't the teleprompter <laughs> working? That happened as well. They got you on but the prompter at the Oscars? Prompter's a little wonky for me, yeah. So I sounded like I'm just having a very, very, just a whisper of a stroke while I'm trying to remember the things that I'd read before. There was some speculation about your <laughs> yes, health after that, wasn't there? I know, yeah, yeah. Somebody, but you're good. somebody threw the paddles on me yeah. right as I walked on scene. <laughs> How nice has all this been to share with your wife and with your baby girl? It's been amazing. Uh, I'm pretty sure my baby girl doesn't understand a thing I say. She doesn't like your films? Uh, she, she doesn't like anything. Uh, <laughs> there is no problem that a breast won't fix, though. Uh, so that's... Uh, You've always said that. Yes, yeah. no, it's, uh, that's just what the tattoo says right there. Um, <laughs> Now, you've, you're um, very guarded, and I respect that, and so I'm not going to ask you the, the little girl's name, but you did <laughs> say a few months ago before she was born that you were going to name her Excalibur Anaconda Reynolds. So can we call her Anna, at least, <sighs> short for Anaconda? That is not Anaconda? the child's name. It is, it's Butternut Summer Squash. It is? Yes. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> no, it's, it's, Ryan it's out there. Ryan Reynolds tells all. It's out there. It's James. Everyone knows. It's, I just, and I told everyone who would listen that I just, before it was out there, I didn't want to be the, the first guy screaming it out to the media because as we know, little girls turn into teenage girls and little teenage girls sometimes scan through the archives and go, why did you do that? Yeah, it's, it's something also that I think probably puts your career in a different perspective. I mean, you're still gonna go out and shoot your movies, but you want your family to be with you when you're doing those things. Yeah, oh, always, yeah, that's, that's the priority. I mean, it's the, you never cross over, you never work at the same time. You make sure that we're all together and. Um, you know, and it involves a little bit of sacrifice, but that's a small, small sacrifice and for the grand scheme of things, you know. But you always worry about things like, I worry that my daughter's gonna wanna go into show business and... You're already worried about that? A little bit, yeah, you know, you worry about really stupid stuff. <laughs> you sort of sit there and go, oh gosh, she's gonna wanna do that. I like to whisper in her ear, like, really, like, normal, everyday jobs. Like, like what? You're gonna be a flight attendant. It's a good life. A barista. <laughs> right, just normal, Wonderful jobs. Right, that, right. Yeah, you can have a nice normal life. Stay yeah. out of Hollywood. Yeah. A Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. <laughs> you don't want your daughter I to be I do not want no. my daughter to be a Dallas Stop Cowboys it. cheerleader, although I imagine it's an exciting job. It's Ryan, thanks, man. Really, always a pleasure. Great to see Thank you. Thank you very great much. So you. great to see you, too. Thank you. Just to confirm, he does not want baby James to be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs>